a moment of patience in a moment of anger saves you a hundred moments of regret. Let me repeat that. A moment of patience in a moment of anger saves you a hundred moments of regret. Who of you have actually been in this situation where you felt like the way I'm so angry, there's a million of things that I could literally like say right now, you know, and maybe you manage to hold yourself down and not say anything. But at night, there is this dream, this lucid dreaming whereby you see yourself like in action, where you by, whereby you actually like say these words, these hurtful words to this particular person or this particular being and you just saying and saying and saying all of these like hurtful things like you know <laughs> and that thing just sort of like takes over you feel like you'd be like you know what just wake up we need to talk you know but somehow something just held you down and said just shut up okay <laughs> just shut up i've had a moment like many moments in my life where i was like told just shut up okay just be quiet don't say a lot of things you know like i remember when my cousin started acting up you know um it was a situation whereby i was like you know i'm hurt but a lot of the things here they don't actually con concern me because it's her life you know it's her life and i tried by all means to just advise the best way i could but knowing that we were close like that you know knowing that we are close like that and we you know there's no her without me and there's no me without her you know it's always been you know just us i remember when she started like acting up if, because of a particular person like a particular new person in 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 her life and i was like okay um this does not actually like directly involve me so maybe i should take like seven steps back and just give her like space give her a moment you know to just figure things out you know and when people are in that heated moment you know in terms of self-discovery whether they're doing something that is wrong or doing something that is right that is right they're not gonna listen chances are they're not gonna listen so as a, as a person as a friend or as a brother or as a sister you know, you learn to save yourself this hundred, hundred moments of regret, you know, because there's a, there's a ton of things that you can say that are actually wrong about a situation that you don't fully understand. You know, I had to learn that because I matured early, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that other people are at the same mindset. They have the same mindset as me, you know, are at the same level, you know, in terms of what's wrong and what's right and what should be engaged in what should not be engaged in you know um i had to learn the hard way and you know when you are so used to to speak your mind and you used to this person you know taking your advice and next thing they just don't want to hear it <laughs> because where they are right now it's actually like working out for them where they are right now it's actually like something that they like where they are right now you know it makes them float and Ooze, you know they don't have to keep in touch with reality yo so they don't have to keep in touch with reality you know they they just like the zoned out moment that they are currently enjoying you know i think i've had to to learn to be like okay um you know in other situations people just need time eventually eventually they come around sometimes people they need time but if you just jump in there and you don't you don't count your words you don't check what you are saying you know that person even if they're now you know in their correct minds they won't come back to you you know and at the same time you kind of like need them because you can tell that these people they like this person needs you you know this person needs your guidance this person yeah, this person like could use you like you want to you want to be be used by them, you know, for the right reasons, you know, you want them to come back to you and ask what your opinions are, you know, in terms of situations, because, you know, their well being is kind of like important to you, you know, it's kind of important, it's important to see them happy because it makes you happy, 
you know when you see them being okay like flourishing in life you know that at least you've done something but when we don't take a moment and we just wanna hash out everything this is where um this applies you know you're not gonna save yourselves um a hundred moments of regret because once that person is is gone you don't know what kind of people they're gonna meet outside so you kind of like want to keep them in your in your in your in your in your zone in your territory so that you know you can look after them so if you are that kind of a person learn what this post is saying you know say the right things at the right time sometimes just people they just need a moment it could be just a <laughs> it could be a moment of three months six months of self discovery let people make their own mistakes and by the time they are done they're gonna come back and then and then you just you don't start by the word i told you so you know <laughs> you don't start by saying i told you so you start by okay so you want to figure things out or you want you want out so how do we get out you actually like just take yourself and put yourself in their shoes because whether or not you like it you may have learned but they are still in their own journey they are still in their own journey they still need to discover a lot of things even though you see that this person is about to harm themselves but if they're not listen, willing to listen at that particular moment based on the fact that so many things are still involved right now you know um you have got to take a step back but still be on the lookout you know be in touch but take a step back and let people discover themselves if they come back you keep on doing what you what you can in order to to have them a moment of patience in a moment of anger saves you a hundred moments of regret do not cast people out okay let them be but be available be always available for the people around you, you know. Be always, I don't know, like maybe you don't have the spirit of serving, you know, because other people, do, they just don't have that. They, they just don't have the patience. But we live in, 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 in moments whereby everything is just hashed out, you know. Like people don't have time anymore. So if you have those people like that still has time for you, like cherish them because... The world is going in a different direction right now, you know. People live in, in, in with this thing of, if I do, you have got to do for me back, you know. I'm not going to stick around if you're not going to, you know, lend me a hand um, whenever I need it because I did. It's like, I help you now. When it's your turn, I want to write here. Otherwise, everything can go up in smoke. We live in moments whereby we... we we give up easy you know we give up easy you know so yeah just take a moment and give people space and um see life as it is man see life as it is life is hard for some other people but we have got to try and be so very understanding of of situations and especially how a human being is it's but you know other people until they bend their feet or they bend their fingers they're not they're not gonna learn so you kind of like okay fine this is a safe learning you're gonna get some bruises and scars and stuff like that but you will bounce back and then you let people be at least that's that's what i wish <laughs> that's what i wish i can you know excel in but there's still time to grow bye bye